So here's what it does geometrically. So remember, a vector has two different things. It has a length and it has a direction. Okay, let's start with the length. The length of a cross product is the area of the parallelogram in space formed by the vectors A and B. Okay? So now if you have a parallelogram in space, you can find its area just by doing this calculation when you know the coordinates of a point. You do this calculation and then you take the length. So the length, you know, you take this squared plus that squared plus that squared square root. It looks like a very complicated formula, but it works, and actually it's the simplest way to do it. Okay. This time we don't actually need to put plus or minus because the length of a vector is always positive. We don't have to worry about that. And what's even more magical is that not only is the length remarkable, but the direction is also remarkable. So the direction of A cross B is perpendicular to the plane of a parallelogram. So, you know, our two vectors, A and B, together they determine a plane. And what, what I'm telling you is that the vector A cross B will point will stick straight out of that plane, perpendicularly to it. Okay. So, in fact, I have to be more precise. There's two ways that you can be perpendicular to, perpendicular to this plane, right? You can be perpendicular pointing up or pointing down. How do I decide which? Well, there's something called the right-hand rule. Okay, so what does the right-hand rule say? Well, there's various versions of the right-hand rule depending on in which country you learn about it. Uh, in France, given the culture, you even learn about it in terms of a corkscrew and a wine bottle. But I think, uh, I'm, I'll just use the usual version here. Um, so you take your right hand. If you're left-handed, remember to take your right hand, not the left one, the other, the other right, okay? Um, and then place your hand to point in the direction of A. So let's say my right hand is going in that direction. Now, curl your fingers so that they point towards B. So here that would be kind of into the blackboard. Okay? Don't snap any bones. If it doesn't quite work, then rotate your arms so that you, know, you can actually physically do it. Then, you know, get your thumb to stick straight out. Well, here my thumb is going to go up, and that tells me that A cross B will go up. 